Good morning, first grade readers. This morning, our, I went for a walk around the Glenshire Pond and I saw the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pelicans. And they were as tall or even taller than you are. So we're going to read a little bit this week about pelicans. And then after we read for a few days on the third day, um, you'll do some writing about what you learned. So you may have this printed out in front of you. If you do, you can follow along. Uh, if you don't have it printed in front of you, that's okay because I'm going to show the words and you can read along with me as I'm reading it out loud. Um, and then if you wanted to go back and watch this video, you could even turn the video on, turn the sound off, and see if you could do the reading on your own after you've heard me read it. So um, this is a picture of one of these beautiful pelicans. And I'm hoping you get a chance to see them flying around Trekkie, migrating in. So here's a beautiful, beautiful pe pelican. All right. I'm going to start reading, and you follow along by putting your finger under the word R. Are you ready to be an ornithologist today? Yes, today we will learn about a bird you might have seen before with a long beak around bodies of water finding fish. Take a look at the pictures below. Can you guess what bird it is? Well, I already told you it's a pelican, but there are different types of pelicans. This is a freshwater white pelican. So there are brown pelicans and there are white pelicans. And you can see it's beautiful white plumage. They always have this black on their wingtips. It's a really great way to identify them while they're flying. They usually fly together in groups. Sometimes they fly alone. And they've got this really orange bill and webbed feet. All right, I have a heading on this page and it says features. So we have, and then an E-A sounding like E. This T-U-R sounds like chur, chur. Sometimes a T with a U after it can sound like ch. Features. And we already learned what features are. So features could be body parts. Every feature of this amazing bird helps it survive. And it is a great example of how birds have adapted to the environment. Pelicans are great swimmers. If you take a closer look at their feet, you will notice they are webbed. Each toe is connected with a layer of skin. This adaptation has helped pelicans paddle while swimming. You can see it's working as a paddle right there. Fact to remember, webbed toes help pelicans swim. However, they become a bit clumsy when walking on land. Imagine it's the same as you trying to walk with flippers. Not easy. All right, a bird is not a bird without its colorful plumage. We've used that word to talk about feathers. In North America, you can find two types of pelicans, the brown pelican and the white pelican. Both get their names by the color of their feathers. This has a capital N for North and a capital A for America because they are names of a place. North America is the name of our continent. Okay, brown pelican, white pelican. Brown pelicans, fact. Brown pelicans have silver and gray streaks under their wings. White pelicans are completely white with some black color feathers at the end of its wings. They're so cute. All right. Oh, here we have an ow sound. Amazing pouches. The word amazing comes from the word base word amaze. There would have been a bossy E on there to bonk the A and make it say A, but this ING kicked it out of the way and does its job. So it still makes a long A sound. Amazing pouches. These are not baby pelicans near it. Those are another type of water bird. You can kind of see how it's like the pouches sort of spread out there. A pelican's beak is unique. Their long beak is connected to a pouch. The pouch of a pelican is very stretchy and pelicans use it as a fishing net. Once the fish gets trapped inside, the pelican squeezes out the water and swallows it whole. 
Fact to remember, the pouch of a pelican can hold two to three gallons of water and fish. That's like a big milk carton, but it would be two or three big milk cartons. Pelicans also use their pouches to stay cool by opening their beaks and fluttering it. When this happens, the pelicans let the air move around it on a hot summer day. Look at that. You can see little veins inside of there. So this kind of strains out the water. The, the fish stays in, but the water can come out. Pelicans also have big mouths and stomachs. They eat and pack all the food in their stretchy stomachs. Fact to remember, pelicans eat so much that sometimes they have to throw back what they have eaten in order to be able to fly. That's how heavy they get. So I'm going to read the next parts tomorrow. I'll just show you a little bit how it goes. It goes a little bit more like this. Okay. We will read that part tomorrow. But on the very last day, you'll write about things I learned about pelicans. So what you can do now, so you can go back to the beginning of this video and you can press mute and read those pages on your own. Or if you have it printed out, you can read those pages out loud on your own. Um, and then maybe write down one or two things. Make a little note of some things that you have learned so far about pelicans.